I try and present through the Yoga for Happiness, which again is the key for this Blissology path, is that the way you practice yoga, physical yoga, that attitude you take with you is what you bring into your life. So every um, thing that you do, every uh, pose that you do, your intention behind it is so important because that's the way your mind is going to work and the way you treat yourself in the yoga practice is going to be the way you treat others. I read a great book, Shantaram, recently and um, He's in a, uh, the main character is in a slum in Bombay and he's asking all these people about what he thinks about happiness. And his friend says, oh, happiness, that's so simple. When, or what, you know, when you're hungry, you suffer. When you're not hungry for something, no suffering, simple. And it's so much, you know, what a definition of happiness is. I'm not hungry for anything. My desires are, are being met. And and, um, and really that's a deep state of happiness that we really need to try and promote. So how does yoga make you happy? God, that's a bigger question than you think because, um, you know, a simple thing is, um, you know, we have so many chemicals that are going through your body and definitely after uh, yoga practice, there's more, uh, there's more serotonin uptake, more dopamine, I mean, there's all kinds of beautiful uh, chemicals that are going through your body, so that's part of it. But also when you look at how your mind is wired, um, really happiness is an attitude. And um, the, the attitude you have after yoga is that you're at a state of ease with the world. I mean, I ask this question you know, almost every day to people and it's, where is your mind, right? Where is your mind? Because we live in a world where science tells us our mind is only our brain. But the thing I've learned from my teachers and through experience is that the mind is actually this whole network of cells that go through the whole body and there's a communication that's going on. So when you think about anything, something in your body is going to tighten, right? I want to go to Bali. Um, oh God, I gotta pay for my trip to Bali, whatever. There's something that happens in your cellular network and it's not just your brain. When you move through the yoga practice, all these, uh, the tightness that you release is actually not just physical muscles, but it is actually your mind that's unwinding. To really do it well, you have to find a state of contentment and ease in your mind. And I think that Something physical happens to everyone at the end of a yoga practice and you don't even remember the things you were stressed about. <laughs> it's beautiful.